I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that's breaks, and I'll bet I've had way more fun than you. Well, hello there, welcome back to another exciting edition of Kip Does Stuff. Today we've got a box from Amazon, so let's see what's inside here. Okay, in this box here is the Y-axis extension for my Jimitsu 3018 Pro CNC router. So, let's see what we've got. First, we got that fancy plastic wrap for the wires. We've got some instructions. We've got the guide rods for the cable, another lead screw, and the two aluminum supports. So, I guess we should take down this box and assemble it. Okay, here is the CNC router. Now we need to pretty much assemble the entire disassemble the entire machine. So I'll start by taking off the gantry, and I'm going to leave this I think I'll take the spoil board off also. So let's get started. Okay, next we need to loosen up the set screws on our stepper motor, which have got locked tight on them. That might be difficult. Okay, that moves freely. Now we'll take all the screws off the front edge. the screws in the back except for the stepper motor. Now we can slide out all the nuts that we'll need and remove the front. Now we'll turn our table upside down, slide out the two guide rods, and remove the lead screw, making sure not to let this peanut blast out of there and throw that bushing across the room. Okay, the rod comes with two threaded inserts on it, or but you don't need them both. You only need one, and frankly, you could probably use the one that was already on the machine this one doesn't fit 
in there. You could adapt this to make it fit, but there's no reason to. We've already got this. So, let's install the threaded rod. Okay, you could also use this time to file down flat spots on the threaded rod so your set screws will seat better and less chance it'll loosen up and spin freely. But Loctite has been working well for me, so I'm not going to bother doing that at this time. Next, we'll put the two guide rods back in place. Flip it over and we're ready for reassembly. So now we have our guide rails. We can attach them to the rear first. Remember, don't tighten any screw down completely until every screw has been put in the machine. Now we can slide our threaded rod back into our coupler. And now we can start the threads on the rods. And now we can reinstall the front, making sure we get that lead screw in there first. Now that we got all the screws started, we'll go ahead and tighten everything down. Okay, all the screws have been tightened down. I'm going to give it a little twist my finger to see how easy the lead screw turns. And hopefully we won't have to do any readjusting to get the table to move smoothly. Okay, when we originally assembled our machine, these two side pieces for the gantry were put on separately. So I'm going to remove my right side because there's no stepper motor and reassemble it again according to the original instructions. Okay, I'm not going to bother centering the gantry at this point. I don't have a new spoil board to put on here yet. 
to take advantage of the full size of the Y axis. So, I'll do the centering at a different time. I also reapplied Loctite to the set screws on the connector for the lead screw on the stepper motor to make sure that doesn't come apart. I did have to cut one wire tie off for my Y axis motor since it was going to be stretched just a little bit in the position it was in. I don't think I'm going to have to extend the length of any of the wires though, but I will probably do a little bit different rerouting and have to come up with a better way to hold these up to keep them away from the spoil board as it moves back and forth. But other than that, that's really all there is to it. You take the machine almost completely apart and you put it back together again. I think this is going to be a good thing, and I can't wait for the Loctite to dry, get a new spoil board, and I get to try it out. Thanks for watching.